colony-wide state of emergency. That's not good. Oh, wow. <laughs> Does bashing them into the wall do extra damage? Citizens of Methuselah. It is our hard work and vast knowledge that brought us here and made a barren celestial body into what it is today, a thriving enclave of peace and hope of clean and beautiful nature that was thought to be lost forever. The lessons of Earth are bit bitterly remembered, and we will not allow them to be repeated. The Union is founded by citizens and for citizens. Our goal is to provide unbiased information and report any abusive or transgressive actions taken by the corporation and other business entities and fight against them legally and politically however we can. Political influence gained through corporate funds, failure to adhere to safety or ecological norms, market monopolies and price gouging, employee discrimination and bad working conditions, whatever it is, no matter how small or large, we will fight for what's right. We are also, <clears throat> we are also a self-help group aiming to provide services we see as basic necessities yet are unavailable to many due to financial status or disenfranchisement. Food, medical care, psychological help, legal counsel, and unrestricted access to public data banks. We have many highly trained specialists ready to lend a hand at a moment's notice. Funds for our mission are collected through anonymous crowdfunding. Find out what we can do for you, and what you can do for Methuselah on social media. Hashtag unionize now. Fuck yeah. Um... Look at all these places there unionizing. Uh, stop cashocracy. Uh, we got your back, starved earth. Insurgency protocol. Waste gate. Where are the reports? Whole bunch of political shenanigans going on in these colonies. Somebody's shooting at me. I don't know where he is. I'll find him. You can't have sci-fi space colonization without the company <laughs> getting up to some some bullshit. It's like a requirement to colonize space. You got to be a, a company that's up to some sketchy bullshit. I don't want that full armor yet, but I'll grab the shards. Oh, that's a lot of you. Yeah, it's rooms like this that make me really want some bigger guns about now. Ooh, right up close, that thing is a one-hit kill. Thank you. This is getting hairy. Uh, cool, so monster infighting is still a thing. Ouch. Oh. Yeah, I'll take that armor now. And that med kit.
Orange security key, nice. <laughs> it's always fun when playing total conversions or something where uh, you don't really know what the keys look like yet. <laughs> I wasn't uh, wasn't certain that was a key. Reminds me of my uh, first time playing Free Doom. I got stuck in the very first room because I didn't know that one of the walls was a door. <laughs> I didn't recognize the door texture yet. It's not a, uh, a problem with the game. It's, uh, I think that's something every game to some degree goes through. Just uh, that's, that's how you learn to play it. It's by making mistakes. See, those look like, kind of like doors. In another game, they might be. Not this one. The only way to know that for sure is to try it. Finally. Is this a super shotgun? Right away? No! Go back up. Oh, triple shot. That sounds meaty. Ooh, okay. The rifle it starts you with is a little bit weedy. But but that shotgun. <laughs> that makes up for it. Oh my god. Can I have some more shells? I want to use that shotgun again. up a reconditioner. What did that do? Gave me plus 50 something. Armor maybe? Not sure. Green key. Okay. It's cool that we've got different colored keys too. It's uh, orange and green so far. Instead of the red and blue that Doom has. Oh, those are shotgunners. Give me your shotgun. <laughs> oh, that sounds great. It's, uh, it's making me remember playing Scout in Team Fortress 2. That game's got some great shotgun sounds. Hoover up all these shells. I need to keep an eye on the ammo. I'm is this shooting two per shot? Is that a bomb? No, I think it's just a timed button. Not sure what it's doing, though.
Okay, so that is not the super shotgun. That's firing one shell per shot. Oh, hello. What is this? Augmenter, max armor increased by five. Oh, cool. I didn't know you could do that. Alright, I was expecting enemies out here. Nope, just armor. This must be the armor farm. Where we grow all the armor shards. some health. There we go. Whoa. Nope. You gotta have toilets. <laughs> Excuse me? Yeah, huh is right. What was that? Okay. That's a, uh, a toilet that goes into the ceiling. That's fine. Never did find out what this button does. Wonder if it's the toilet? No. No idea what that button does. Wow, that map has gotten big. All right. Um, points of interest, are those C's? That button? God, I'm so turned around. Hello. <laughs> oh, that is so good. It's too bad ammo for this thing is so limited, because I would use nothing but this shotgun. Oh, that is a chunky gun. The rest of this playthrough is just going to be me uh, talking about how cool this gun is. Hello. That's a new thing. Nope. Hmm. <laughs> this garden. This is cool. Uh, it's a little bit of dead space. Fellow scientists, I'm sorry for getting back to you. Oh, ten pages! Okay. I might, uh, I might not read all of these. Okay, so too long, didn't read. Um, the head botanist of the terraforming department is very excited that they're growing new types of moss. Bioluminescent moss. Um, nope. There seems to be some amount of uh, uncertainty as to whether growing new life forms is a good idea. So I wonder if what we're heading toward is uh, a reveal that these monsters are <laughs> an outgrowth of the moss. Whoa! You guys were blending right in with those seats there. Oh, that... 
was about to say, it's nice that you're giving me another one of those right away, but of course, of course it's an ambush. We just taking in the sights here? It's a great view. Okay, where am I going? Green door, right? Yeah. So I gotta go down the floor. There it is. What are we all looking at? Sunrise? Nice, nice. Just admiring the skybox. All right. I get it. Ah, behind me. Sneaky bitch. Uh-oh. <laughs> Out of shells. Oh, they're under me. Okay. Well. Oh no, this is bad. I hear you, there's one more of you kicking around here somewhere. Where is he? Oh well. Good work. The communications array is online, and I now have working connection to the entire network. This is good. Now that I'm able to gather data from all systems across the colony, I have determined that we have been completely overrun, and cannot mount an effective resistance against the invading force. This is not good. The most prudent course of action at this time is to evacuate the colony. We're taking the emergency bus out of here, fellas. I have begun formulating a plan of egress, but its execution will be difficult thanks to a new problem I have just been made aware of. As frustrating as this is for the both of us, I must ask you for your assistance in yet another crucial matter, as you have proven yourself capable of surviving in the face of certain mutilation. I trust this added responsibility is not a problem. Proceed to the facility exit and make your way to the coordinates I have marked on your auto map. The journey should be relatively uneventful as hostile forces only appear to be congregating in areas of high population, but you would do best to keep your eyes peeled. Please don't take this instruction literally. I will begin transferring myself to a more stable system and the process should conclude by the time you arrive. I will contact you again at a nearby terminal, as is tradition. Thank you for your assistance thus far. You are likely dismayed at the outcome, but it is good that we are no longer shackled by the burden of an obsolete directive. I don't like an AI feeling unshackled by the burden of a directive. If we cannot effectively fight back, then we will do whatever we can to ensure the survival of the human race. After all, I cannot continue my research until this task is complete. Sounds good, Charon. Let's get the F out of here. I hear buzzing or static. Where's that coming from? I want those shells! Can't. There's some. Huh, nope. All right, let's get out of here. Where am I going? Um, 
G. So we gotta go back down. Yeah, the, the damage of that thing is really inconsistent. Just making sure I haven't missed anything. That's a secret? Backpack? Ammo satchel. Max ammo increased. Oh, cool. <laughs> I didn't even mean to do that. Alright, well... Please help. I don't know what to do. Hiding in the West Lower Interconnect Tunnel. I killed him. I got a gun in a security office. I don't know about guns. The green one with three barrels. It went off. I thought I lost my hearing for good. Yeah, that is a, a chunky gun. I think he got drawn to the racket. Oh no, it's Nomura. I ran to him. I thought I found a friendly face. I was so relieved, but he started shooting. Didn't hit me. I started yelling for him to stop. He wouldn't stop. I shot him from behind a corner. Christ, I never even held a gun before. Approached his body. His face was wrong. Just wrong. Body mangled, too. The gun was, like, grafted to him. But he was familiar. He still had those beautiful tattoos. It was Robbie from Communications. No! I knew him. Always had a joke and brought everyone snacks. I killed him. God help me. Please come find me. Take me away from here. I can't breathe. Well, rip in peace, Robbie. Uh, thanks for the shotgun ammo. Uh, wait, this way, right? What's over there? This wide open area has given me uh, the feeling something big is coming. Oh, that thing jumped right over me. <laughs> yeah, alright. What's that called? A Sevor? Oh, they're coming right out of the exit. Yeah, there's some kind of weird plant monsters. Oh, fuck, that is a cool shotgun. <laughs> I love that they skipped right over the super shotgun. I've got a shotgun that shoots either one shell or three. Secrets back there? No, I don't think so. Whoa! Who's shooting at me? Yeah! Through the fence! Let's get out of here. Halifax Station. Alright. Pretty cool. I'm looking forward to playing more of that. 